Welcome back. In today's Community Conversations, we have City Rep Brian Kennedy here in the studio with us to talk about the $80 million amphitheater just newly announced and also the Downtown Arena Project, also known as the Multi-Purpose Performing Arts and Entertainment Center. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Thank you for having me this morning. It's great. All right, so we'll get right to it. For a recap of the amphitheater, and we know it's been the buzz around the city, um, so we do know that this investment will provide a lot for the city. We know it's not taxpayer funded. How was the Northeast selected for this amphitheater? Well, it was really the private partner that did that. They sat down and they took a look at it and they said, we need a place that is the right location, the right plan, uh, and the right partners. And they, when they took a look at the cross between North South Freeway and the Loop 375, they said this is a perfect place because the entire town can get here quickly as well as people from Wattis that can get, it, get there quickly. So they, they helped pick the site. Of course, we were pushing that site because we have a plan for that site and this was part of the plan. And I think it's something exciting for the people of Northeast El Paso who kind of feel like, oh, finally we're getting something. And it's a beautiful view of the mountains right at that site there. We were just talking about the amount of business that this is going to bring to the area as well. You're saying there's already a lot of interest in bringing more businesses there? Well, I was going to say that since we made the announcement last Tuesday um, that this was going to happen, uh, economic development's been very busy. Uh, we've had a lot of people calling them and saying, you know, what we want to do is we want to see what we can do with that area. And if that's going to be there, they want to be around it, which we always had a plan to develop the whole area. This has kind of put it on steroids. Yeah. And on that note, uh, we were also just talking about how this has all been in the works since 2018, right? Because there was a plan that was put out back in 2018 mm -hmm. for that reimagining of the Cohen area, which actually included the water park. Is there any of that original plan that is continuing on to this new plan? Well, this is actually part of the original plan, was there was an area that was going to be an entertainment area. Um, it's kind of morphed even better than we thought it was going to be because we have a new partner that's willing to put in between 80 and I think it'll be closer to $100 million of their own money. Uh, so yeah, it is a, really a part of the plan. We're adjusting it a little bit because of the footprint, but the original plan is still the overview we're working with. Okay, and so now we want to go ahead and move over and to talk about the proposed downtown arena. So a vote on the location of that arena has been getting pushed back here. Can you tell us where that project stands um, and do you support moving forward with it? I think a couple of things we have to look at. Uh, we haven't had answers to all of our questions and we don't want to start the discussion publicly until we have the answers to our questions internally. And so we've asked them for some financial inf information and some other information. And I think what it comes down to is what we has been proposed is what the staff was asked to do. Give us what we can build without going out for more bond money. And that's what it is. And now the decision has to be made. Do we want to go forward with this or do we not want to go forward with this? And that's the ultimate question. Um, we're, we're doing some outreach right now to find out, do we want to go with this project or do we want to stop and maybe start the whole project over with different partners, get some private partners like we have with the amphitheater, um, get some other partners, bring them in so we can build a bigger facility. When the original bond went out, there was never enough money. The 180 right. million was never enough in my opinion. Um, and so we don't want to start selling something to the voters and say, oh, and by the way, we're going to change the price. Let's right. come back maybe with a full-fledged plan that says here's what it is, here's where it's going to be, and here's what it's going to cost. Yeah, and I think something obviously that was approved in 2012 with a lot of people just wondering, you know, what, what is happening with that project. So if the project does get canceled, what happens to those funds for the area? And, and just what, your, what would your message be for those who maybe really did want to see this project come to fruition? Well, the project they voted for was not ever going to happen with the price they were promised. And to me, it would be like if you were going to buy a car and you say, I like that car, it's $20,000, and you go to there and they go, no, it's actually $30,000. You say, well, that's not what I agreed to. And that's not what the voters agreed to. Um, I think there's, first of all, there's $150 million that has never been issued, so we would just never issue it. Okay. Uh, there's some money that was issued that we have in the bank and have had for a while, and we'd, we would use that to repay the bonds. There would be some expense that would be um, picked up by what the lawsuits were over Duranguito, so there would be some of that. 
But overall, um, I think that we would look at, at how we could be made whole on this whole thing. Most of the money, 150 million of it, has not even been issued. It's still, we're allowed to issue it, we just haven't yet. Okay, and then the city does have ownership of some of those buildings in the Duranguito area as well, correct? We do, and we're currently marketing them to sell them. Okay. Um, cause we're, and of course, any of the money that, was you, that we gather from that sale would go to pay off some of the bonds that were issued to purchase it. Okay. So the, the, uh, there is an Im a financial impact but we can minimize that. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. I, I like coming in in the morning. Awesome. Okay, well, if you are just tuning into this community conversation, we will have a replay of it on kfoxtv.com as well as other past community conversations. We'll be right back after the break.